I would say advocate, 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 advocate for yourself, um, which is so hard to do. It's so much easier to advocate for other people than it is to advocate for yourself. And if this were happening to someone else, I would say that's not right. They shouldn't have done that to you. So we need to start doing that for ourselves too. So we've got a plan. My personal journey for season two, I think is very parallel with Beth Chapel's, you know, personal journey in this season. I have learned a lot to use my voice, um, a little bit more than I think I have ever before. I'm feeling more comfortable as an actor and as a creator and a collaborator and um, really saying like, hey, I have an opinion about these topics that we are going to address, particularly that handle race, right? And like dealing with racism because that is something that I personally deal with you know, on a daily basis, pretty much. Um, so it was really important to me to be a part of the process, and I'm really grateful to Jeff for letting me be a part of that process because I would have said something anyway, but I'm really grateful that he actually wanted my opinion and wanted to include my ideas and like all of the things, like different lines and stuff that I was like, maybe I should say this, or maybe I should bring, you know, bring this up. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. And so he really let me play with it a lot more. And so I really think that we found like a really great balance. It's useless, Rick. I'm never getting Chuck back. Everything's falling apart. So as a woman of color, I definitely hope to impact others by inspiring them to want to create change. I think when um, we come from it with an allyship perspective in any way that is going to like challenge our society and challenge the way that we do things because just because things have always been done that way doesn't mean they should be done that way. Um, so I definitely look forward to change and I hope that people are inspired by that and if they see these things that happen to my character Beth on Stargirl and they're affected by that, right? Like that's the only way is like empathy, like pulling at someone's heartstrings and being like, you saw this, if you love this character, this is not okay. So when you see people on the street or just people out in the world who are in marginalized communities and you see awful things happen to them, you'll stand up and say, that's not okay. That's right, oh my gosh. So I hope that they just like have more empathy for people. What is going on? I deserve to know. I have so many female role models. My number one is always gonna be my mama. She is the queen. She is literally like my soulmate in my life. I just love my mother. Also, I am so inspired by Michelle Obama and like all the work that she has been doing for years. So Michelle Obama is a huge, huge, huge inspiration for me as well. So love her so much. Oh my gosh.